pediatric advanced life support pulse pediatric tachycardia with a pulse algorithm welcome you all in pedia academy by dr pankaj if a patient come with tachycardia just do initial assessment give airway oxygen blood pressure ivcs and ecg just see if patient is uh, in sinus tachycardia if p wave is normal variable PRRR interval and infant rate is less than 220 and child rate is less than 180 search and treat cause if the uh, in this condition if cardiovascular compromise is present or not you have to see if no cardiovascular compromise just go for QRS duration see if it is narrow complex less than 0 .0, 0 0.09 or more, uh, wide complex 0.09 in narrow complex it is generally PSVT do vagal maneuver and if required give adenosine if it is wide complex but stable patient it is possibly ventricular tachycardia so uh, if rhythm is irregular and QRS is monomorphic consider adenosine and later the ventricular tachycardia algorithm can be followed but if patient has cardiovascular compromise and it is narrow complex tachycardia it is PSVT we have to give adenosine and might go for cardioversion and if patient is unstable and QRS is wide this is possible ventricular tachycardia we have to give synchronized cardioversion so what is the dose of synchronized cardioversion is 0 0.5 to 1 joule per kg initially and increasing to 2 joule per kg adenosine dose first bolus is 0.1 mg per kg maximum 6 mg second dose is 0.2 mg per kg maximum is 12 mg